Archaeologists today believe that this great Neolithic stone circle has stood on the plains of Wiltshire, England for no less than 5,000 years. An outer ring of 30 four-ton stones surrounds five huge arches whose massive blocks weigh 22 tons each and which were somehow transported from 120 miles away. It's an astonishing feat of ancient engineering, and the mysteries about its construction still remain. Some of the stones at Stonehenge weigh between 50 and 70 tons. Some of the stones are even heavier. So how could you have moved these into place? How could you have moved them from Wales, where the blue stones, the spotted dolerite, came from within Stonehenge? The blue stones from which the original Stonehenge was constructed were transported from 120 miles to the west from a place called the Priscelli Mountains, which is the only place in the British Isles where you can get that kind of stone. Now, how they were moved is a mystery. The predominant theory as to how the megalithic blocks were moved is that the builders fashioned sledges and rollers out of tree trunks to lug the blue stones from the Presley Hills, then transferred them onto rafts and floated them first along the Welsh coast and then up the River Avon towards Salisbury Plain. You know, this idea that all these ancient blocks were moved with uh, wooden rollers is, is very interesting. However, do you know what happens to wood when you put 20 tons on a wooden roller, it'll just get crushed to smithereens. However they did it, it must have been very important for them to move these particular stones to Stonehenge. And that's a mystery. That doesn't happen anywhere else at stone circles in the country. They only come from stone that's quarried locally. However Stonehenge was constructed, it involved moving much more than just the stone blocks that stand today. According to researchers, this is just 25% of the original monument, the center of a much larger structure that was surrounded by multiple concentric circles, constructed over a period of more than a thousand years. So Stonehenge is very interesting in that it evolves over a very long period of time. And the first thing that goes up at Stonehenge is not there anymore. It's the 56 holes that today are known as the Aubrey Circle. It used to be filled with the blue stones from Priscelli. Around the outside of the stone circle is constructed a ditch and embankment. This is the so-called henge structure that stands around Stonehenge from where it gets its name. Many mainstream scholars suggest that Stonehenge was simply a place of worship and a burial ground. But why would the ancient people of Britain have spent more than a thousand years to build what amounts to a church and a cemetery. And the big problem is we don't really know who these people were. We don't really know where they come from. So we find similar structures around the world that show incredible levels of sophistication, like the pyramids of Giza in Egypt, like Machu Picchu in Peru. So why not in ancient Britain? Why not have a very advanced civilization here? The fact that we now know that Stonehenge was part of a much larger superstructure indicates to me that we've only barely scratched the surface. What did it all mean?